Hey friends, today I'm sharing a tutorial on how to make this concrete cake with edible rebar. We're gonna start by making the rebar so it has time to set while we prep the cake. You wanna take about half a cup of dark chocolate chips and a teaspoon of coconut oil. The coconut oil is to help make the chocolate chips be extra smooth so that we can dip the licorice in them later. And because it's solid at room temperature, they'll still set up nicely. Microwave for about 45 seconds and mix like crazy until you have a smooth texture. You might have to do another burst of 30 seconds, but you wanna make sure that you're mixing fully and then take some Twizzlers. I cut them in half so they'd be the right size for the cake, and then I coated them in chocolate. I chose Twizzlers because they have that rib texture that kind of reminded me of rebar, but you guys can use anything. Uh, one of the other options that I had was some pretzels. However, I do think that the licorice looks the best. I repeated this with all the pieces and then let them set in the fridge for 10 minutes, and finally dusted them with some cocoa powder so it kind of looks a little bit rusty, a little bit matte, a bit more like rebar. Finished off all the pieces and then I set those aside while I went to work on the cake. For this cake, I used a five inch three layer chocolate cake, but you can use any cake and filling and size that you want. Just stack it up, crumb coat it, and make sure you let it set for about 15 minutes before we start decorating. Once it's ready for its top coat, you wanna grab a light gray frosting and fully coat the cake with that buttercream. Mine has a bit of a warm tone to it because I was using peanut butter frosting, so it was kind of yellowy orange before I started adding in the black cocoa to get this gray color. But if you started with a white buttercream, like a vanilla, let's say, and you added in some black food coloring, you'd have a bit of a cooler tone. As you're doing your top coat, don't worry about any air bubbles in your frosting or seams or any roughness that you get. That's actually gonna add to the overall look of the cake in this case. After the top coat, you wanna let it set in the fridge for at least 15 minutes until the buttercream is firm. Then you're gonna take a knife and just scuff it up. I did some slashes, I pulled out some chunks, I made some divots, basically just roughening up the outside of the cake. Then I had a small bowl of frosting that I dyed a bit of a darker gray, and I put that on top of all the scuffs that I'd made. You don't need to cover every single one, just get some of that dark gray frosting on there and then start spreading it around with a scraper. As you smooth it out, the darker gray will fill in the divots, slashes, and dents to kind of highlight it or accentuate them. You can repeat this slashing and filling in as many times as you want and continue to smooth out the cake, but don't worry about making it perfectly smooth because it's supposed to be concrete, it's supposed to be rough. Now, if you like that live edge, you can totally leave it, but I wanted to cut it to create a perfectly sharp edge at the top, so that's what I did using a hot knife. And then lastly, using a hot scraper, I did one final sweep of the cake. Still has a few lumpy spots, but that's perfectly okay. Lastly, we're gonna assemble, so I created some pilot holes with just a toothpick, and then inserted toothpicks into my licorice, and pop those into the cake. I arranged them at the center so it would look the most like rebar. And that's it. A surprisingly simple cake to decorate. Pretty easy for beginners because you don't have to worry about getting it perfectly smooth. If you guys give this a shot, I'd love to see your creations. So please tag me. Happy baking.